let me try to channel the people. We try to channel Einstein. We change that. Let me try to channel the people who, who like to believe in a theory of a creator. There are multiple theories. So there's one about the divine creator, of course. There's Spinoza's God. There's the simulation hypothesis that the universe is nothing but a simulation in the lab of a... Ugly silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then obviously there's a theory that there is no God. I don't know if there's no theory that there is no God. It's just, it's like saying we have a theory there are no unicorns. I mean, it's just, you know, is it, do you believe, is there any evidence for unicorns? No. Is there any evidence for God? No. Um, Spinoza's God is just, all, all he's saying is, and it is awesome. That there's order in the universe that we can the fact that we can understand and explain the universe is amazing and the fact we can do it with mathematics is even more amazing and that that awed einstein and it awes every theoretical physicist it's amazing that we can in succinct form write on a single piece of paper a set of equations that describe almost essentially everything describe and explain and predict basically everything we see in nature that is shocking why why it's the case is amazing and and awe-inspiring. Um, and you can call that order God if you want. And I think that's what Einstein meant. The simulation hypothesis is just another example of kicking the can down the road. It's a, I don't understand why it interests people, because first of all, there's no evidence that we live in a sim simulation. Usually simulations have pixels that don't work, as far as I can tell, except perhaps in the mind of the one ex-president of the United States. There, there, the, the things, <laughs> things work. Um, but more than that, you, you, so you say, oh, we live in civilization. Well, that must mean we're created by something more complex than us, right? Well, who created them? Are they a simulation and another simulation? Is it turtles all the way down? And if it isn't, you're telling me that an incredibly much more complex organism could arise naturally. And that somehow that, or, you know, because it seems impossible that we could arise naturally. I mean... It's, it doesn't make any sense. If you really try and parse that, that idea carefully, I think it, um, it doesn't make sense. And it, well, at least it's not compelling. It's not that it doesn't make sense, it's possible. But it doesn't answer any questions, does it? It doesn't explain, you know, it doesn't help you with the laws of physics. And even if we were in a simulation, I don't give a damn. I yeah. want to know how the laws in our simulation work. That's all I care about. Because there are laws. I throw up a ball and it comes back down and I can explain it. Gravity, you know, curved space and the simulation. Of, so I want to understand what governs the way our universe works. I, I see no evidence as a simulation. I think the idea is silly. But even if it is, I don't give a damn. I'm not a we, I, I like physics, not metaphysics. We just spoke about the profound implication of like considering your origins and how that changes your perspective in life, if it were a simulation, then just accepting that idea would get us closer towards now identifying what's more fundamental. Why? It just says, well, no, it's just saying, it's just saying, la, 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 I can't figure it out. So something else that <laughs> so whoever created us yeah. figured it out. I mean, wh why does it get us closer? It gets us farther away than, than to try and understand how the universe works because you're passing the buck onto some intelligent entity that decided for some reason to create a simulation that may or may not reflect this, the, the world in which they live. So I, I think it does the exact opposite. I think it, just like religion, it mean, you, you talk about simulation, it means you stop thinking. It, religion, when you mention God, okay, I don't want to think anymore, I'll just call it God. Don't want to think about it, don't want to try and understand it, call it God. It's lazy thinking. We've been channeling a lot of people. I feel like you've been channeling Christopher Hitchens here using his razor. I, he, he would be very disappointed to think I've been channeling him because he's so much more eloquent than I am. He was <laughs> anyway. But you have been at least dismissing things that have been asserted without evidence. Uh, uh, that's uh, right. And, and, yeah. and exactly, as he said, you know, yeah, exactly.